A shoe so weird that when I first saw them, I thought they were hideous, but the more that I look at them, I kind of dig them. Yo, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today, we got something cool. It's another collab, which isn't cool. That's actually quite played out by now, but it is what it is. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, this is the Nike Air Max Penny 2. However, this is in collaboration with Stussy. It's one of two colorways. The other one is all black. Most of you guys know I don't love all black shoes. However, I actually do like the way that the Penny 2 looks in all black. I think they're super clean. It gives kind of like a stealthy look to the shoe because the shoe is quite bubbly and uh, uh, bulky looking and everything. However, I like color. I love this for some reason. I don't know why. But anyways, Stussy is a streetwear brand slash fashion brand that was basically made in the 80s. So like 1980, I think it was. Sean Stussy was a surfer. This is, I'm getting this directly from their site. Uh, was a surfer who shaped his own boards for himself and friends, as well as locals in Laguna Beach, which is down South in California. Basically he began screen printing t-shirts and shorts to sell along with his custom boards as a way of like free advertising. So essentially OG merch. And from there, it ended up becoming a fashion staple, a fashion icon amongst skaters, surfers, and hip hop heads. But anyways, I just thought it was really interesting because, you know, a surf brand, I don't feel like has anything to do with Anthony Hardaway or his shoes. So this to me is like a really weird collab. It doesn't quite compute. Maybe there's something I'm missing unless they're just solely taking like, hey, you guys are a fashion icon now. So are we, let's collab. Anyways, the first time that I saw these was online. I think it was from like an Instagram account, like probably like Z Sneakerheads or something like that. That's usually where I see stuff first. I saw these and my instant reaction was, yeah. and then I looked at them again and I basically had the same reaction with a little more, yeah. but then I kept looking at them and I don't know what it was, but I sort of started to warm up to them to the point to where obviously I was interested enough in buying a pair. And now we're here. This outsole is and sexy, man. I love a good up-tempo outsole, and that's exactly what this is. This is the, I wouldn't say OG radial traction, but it was the most significant radial traction outside of the Air Jordan 1. So obviously back in 85, we saw the Air Jordan 1 with a radial pattern. Most of you guys know, tracking so good, it'll pop your hip out. Trust me, I know. But anyways, back in the 90s, we started seeing up-tempos. They were using radial traction patterns like these, and even on the takedown model, so like my first up-tempo model was the Air Moving up-tempo, which I really wish would get a retro a proper retro one that is like respectful towards the shoe but anyways i love that and i just have loved that pattern ever since and obviously it's on the penny too i love it here as well i really like the contrast to this red popping off the black just looks mad clean also the carbon fiber is placed properly unlike on my social status penny twos you could see the gap in between where it's supposed to be and where it actually is but they look fantastic and the materials are great which is something that on this shoe they are not but we'll talk about that right after the tech specs we have a Phylon midsole, which back in the day was lightweight, even though when you put these on now, they're heavier than most shoes, but they're more supportive than most shoes as well. And more cushioned, I think. So you got a really nice Phylon midsole. In the back, you obviously have an Air Max unit. And then in the forefoot, you have a Zoom Air unit. So to me, that's like the best of both worlds. You got full on impact protection in the back, nice low profile, springy, bouncy, responsive ride in the forefoot. The Penny models are awesome. And just in case you wanted to look kind of what's under the hood, this is basically it. So obviously the Phylon midsole, we've got the two carbon plates. They're not full, but they still work really well for torsional support. And they also bridge that gap because something that you can't see is is uh, there is a slight like hump or carve out and you don't want that to compress and everything while your weight is under it while you're playing basketball that's bad for your feet so they've got that there what you see right here that is the uh the air max unit it's actually injected with polyurethane underneath it which is really cool and then when you open this guy up it's a two chambered unit so we've got the surrounding area with a higher psi level with the internal area that is the crash pad with a slightly lower psi level and what you would do is when you would crash on your heel here it would disperse the air throughout the rest so that it would stabilize you upon landing now the upper is where I don't love it, but I also think that it's cool in a weird sense because the black section feels like grip tape. It's not a nice material as far as quality, especially for the price. The price was $200, which is insane. Pennies used to go on clearance, man, and I miss those days. <sighs> Now the green portions are suede on the Nike website or Nike sneakers, the description. It states that it's premium suede, which I don't believe. In fact, I don't even know if it's real suede. It does not 
It does not smell like real skin or anything like that. And when I look at the cut edges, it doesn't look like actual suede. So hopefully they can change that description to actually be proper. But yeah, if you're a Penny fan though, and you've bought Penny 2s before, this is similar to what we're used to seeing. So the Pennies never had premium suedes or anything like that. It had more of a microfiber and less of an actual suede. The piping around the upper is not 3M, which is a bummer. There's no 3M anywhere. Like this weird ass material right there, I thought would at least be reflective and it's it's not um, it's just a faux carbon fiber look so if I was to change anything just to kind of put more penny stuff in there I would have made this Stussy logo instead of it just being white I would have loved to have seen like a reflective paint used instead however not all is lost they do come with two extra sets of laces that are very 90s and very penny if you know what I'm talking about and this is not just with the original penny twos but right around this original time frame when this shoe originally released the Air Jordan 12 was also really popular and these similar styles of lace were actually used to offset the multiple colors used within the uppers now a couple of really cool changes that they did to the shoe that I absolutely love that you probably would think that I wouldn't Right here at the tongue, they've got a different Jewel logo. So instead of the Penny logo, it's a really clean Nike swoosh. This actually just reminds me of old school Nike marketing, like advertising. Like it'd just be simple black, white text, that's it. This is what that reminds me of. I don't know if it's supposed to pay tribute to that or anything. I just see it and that's the first thing that comes to mind. They also switched out the Air branding on the toe. They switched it out with the Stussy branding, which is dope. My favorite thing is something that you'll probably never see though, is right here on the bottom. It's actually got the Stussy and Penny logos in bright green on the Air window underneath there. And just in case you were wondering, this is the insole. It's a cheap piece of sh It's got the similar lining on top of it that is used on the collar lining around the shoe. So it's got this kind of like almost quilted type of look or cross hatch look to it. So I like that as well. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, they do fit true to size, whatever you typically wear. That's exactly what I would order. And with that being said, I'm not ending the video right now. I just wanted to go over a couple of things. You wanted to say how ugly they are. <laughs> They're ugly. I will say the first, like I said, the first time I saw them, I was like, you know, that's gross. But uh, yeah, they've warmed up to me it's just this is something this is, reminds me of those easter fives that i don't think were easter fives same thing with the dj Khaled shoes the fives and those two when i see a classic shoe in such a weird look that more often than not i end up warming up to it because it's so weird yeah i kind of just want to see somebody go all out in like ugly christmas attire <laughs> or there's been all those videos where the parents break in and they're in a grinch costume to like terrorize the kids like if these were on their feet i would be like yes thank you that was perfect Speaking of holidays, we're done with announcements for our 12 days of Christmas giveaways for our Discord community, mm -hmm. but we're still posting them in our Discord community. So if you oh, wanted yes. to join, there's time so you can enter. enter. Yeah, we have not posted all the giveaways. Yeah. So we've done the first batch. Mm -hmm. The second batch is coming and then there's extra stuff just because we're awesome. Plus you should just join because it's a great atmosphere. Yeah, a lot of people that we have are great because they're not just there for giveaways they're yeah. actually there to support us we um, actually have a lot awesome. of people who join for the giveaways and then all of a sudden they're like wait this is awesome so why yes not? And, and and i do understand that forums are strange yeah discord is strange but if you're weird like us man mm -hmm. you might just like it you know what i mean so like i've met some really great people in there from different industries i think that's probably the most surprising thing is like how many people from other industries watch what we do because we're fans of what they do even though you don't know them until you meet them and so like it's like really interesting and cool that something as dumb as shoes can like connect people together it's yeah. like very strange but so is social media so i mean i guess it's all one and the same yeah also you done <laughs> does it matter <laughs> gonna make it in the video anyways also this video is going live on december 23rd which is a friday which means you still have plenty of time that day to place orders for since apparel and they'll actually get shipped out that day otherwise what's going to be happening once like the 24th hits the distribution fulfillment the distribution and fulfillment center will be closed for the holidays yeah and they through won't the beginning of the year yeah they won't be back open until january 3rd so you can still place your orders during that time but just know they won't be shipped until after you'll get like a surprise because you will have forgotten that you made your order and oh, then no, it'll they be won't. christmas again no they won't <laughs> we'll get emails angry emails being like where's my order we'll be like bro we said fulfillment's closed yeah pay attention please and with that being said happy holidays to y'all we'll see you again after christmas and yeah thank you so much we'll catch you on the next one so until then have a good one also let us know what you think about these are they boo-boo 
unless you're in a Grinch costume or really classy, ugly Christmas sweater. I think they look at that weird, like it's so weird, it's cool. <laughs> and it's out so it's cool. I don't know, something weird about these, man. It's, they're, they're ugly, but cool at the same time. I don't understand it. I love this.